Ah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, since I've been working on sort of fixing all the discrepancies in the data, I finally managed to figure out, I finally managed to be like, okay, the thing says there's this many files. I figured out how and why it thinks that. There was some, there was some weird stuff going on with the metadata. There was like some, some SHA columns with like, like six different, like SHA pointing to like six different SHAs, which was, is this like a common thing that everybody knew about already? Uh, to be honest, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, uh, which, uh, because now I'm reading just about the metadata for uh, like the last uh, version. I mean, like, because mm -hmm. they're changing also the, like the, uh, the structure of the metadata and it's like they some columns are merged some not mm -hmm. some they're they're renamed some of them so uh, w what precisely you mean that we have six different uh, well like the sh the sha column you know how it exists right yeah uh, yeah so column yeah 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 but but uh, uh, there are not only uh, uh, problems in in sha columns there are a lot of problems basically <laughs> what I found in in uh, JSON uh, file or something field, it can be different uh, references to different files, which is kind of odd, and some of them also not really recognized as files for some reason. And yeah, uh, there was there you'd have like a chord, like a like a row with a single chord UID, but then yeah. you look at the SHA column and there's like three or four different like. Sha, like yeah. separated by like a colon and and a yeah. space. Yeah, that's. I, I think Mary okay. mentioned this as well. Have you yeah. guys read the FIQ for data set? Or no? <laughs> Again, like this is like fifth time different groups of people. Nobody is reading FIQ for Core 19 data set. I read it already a couple of times. So those Sha columns, like when they have multiple um, multiple Shas or multiple JSON files related to the same core UID. It just mm -hmm. simply means that, so first of all, there are JSON files that were provided by PMC, mm -hmm. which are more clean, like nice, nice format. Yeah. So allegedly nice format. But now if it's PDF JSON, that means for every core UID, so for every article that Alan, the A2 folks, find a PDF, for example, coming from elsewhere, coming from some other source, coming from some yet another source, mm -hmm. they parse all of those independently. And okay. then they will provide to you all three versions of it. So they're supposed to have the same thing, but if, you know, some differences in PDF file and then uh, one PDF file could be parsed well, another one not well. Could, could, I, one. could, could we post a link to that FAQ like somewhere in the yeah it's in like, the wait, uh, uh, in the slack because i because i feel like i'm running into problems that everybody's already solved and no for a second nobody solved i mean uh hold the chart. i i i added you to the channel for like curation and working with lng ferrari specifically because there is a guideline getting started guide with links to faqs etc okay but it's, but it's fine like i know that people don't read anything of that <laughs> Because because uh, if it is what you say, that would be incredibly confusing. Because like I made sure to track down like man, what is this? And I went through like mm -hmm. I found the files listed for a couple of them, uh, for a couple of the rows, and it's like one of them will have the full you know the full mm -hmm. uh, article as you expect, and then another one is like like half half of a, a reference or something. So it just seems like the first SHA value is the important one and then the rest are random that things that don't even pertain to what we're looking for at least that's what i saw from my anecdotal eye mm -hmm. test yeah because then there's a, a question actually which uh which char reference should we take i mean like because finally we need to have well, like one text for one uh paper id and not multiple. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a I'm doing like a little check basically on the, f just check them and see like, okay, is the p title of the paper actually in the, f of the file that's being pointed at? So that's the way I'll check it if there's multiple shows. 
related to it. Okay. And uh, can, can you share notebook already? Yeah, yeah, I'll share the notebook. Mm -hmm. I think we should, we should put it in our infrastructure as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll clean it. It's, it's pretty uh, kind of all over the place right now. So uh, mm -hmm. I'll clean it up and make it make it readable. Mm -hmm. And throw it, it up. Because I also started update uh, from uh, V19 to V22. Mm -hmm. So we've got it in, in uh, our MongoDB service, but of course there are some, some errors and um, so basically it's not 100% yet. Okay. So I really uh, want to, to run your notebook just to see what are other issues I'm missing. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to integrate what I did with Mongo uh, mm -hmm. right now. So once I clean it up, integrate with Mongo, make sure everything is as it should be. I'll uh, I'll put it up on I'll put it up and share it with everybody. Okay, okay, sounds good. And from Ooh. my yeah. Also, so, sorry, just like regarding the quality of data from Alex, uh, I've I've got like an example of how to create. So uh, Alex from Task Dice, he was uh, working with V9 data set, mm -hmm. and from like querying from Elasticsearch some of the sentences that they needed okay. to process. And he find a set of really like odd sentences. So some again, something was wrong in the result in the end. And then he kind of can like take those core UIDs, queries our like the, the latest version of what we have in MongoDB. And essentially like it's a collection of documents with some odd sentences or something like this. So in a sense like a test, not a test case, but like a, a test, a data set of like bad examples of data. So I could share it with you, Hlobuchar, if it you know, makes sense for you to also kind of, here is a real world example that people are complaining about regarding like quality of data for whatever yeah, reason. I'll, I'll take, yeah, share that. Uh, I want to take a look okay. at that and see what's going on there. I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to ensure the quality of the data. So when we get into actually making the search engine, or you know, continuing to work on the search engine, it'll mm -hmm. be a lot easier for everybody. Yeah, and from my side, I I'm trying now to merge because actually, because we if we deprecated from uh, deprecated uh, data frame pandas data frame as a kind of a uh, general uh, data structure we we're using to to like to collect things. Uh, I, I would like, to, I mean, I'm doing now a, a kind of a merge, merge of uh, all three notebooks for sentences, data, uh, sections, and, and entire docs. Because actually, we, if we put everything in MongoDB, it's enough to have IDs of sections or papers. And it, uh, yeah, Lucas, it's already there. But uh, do we have a mapping? Also, like uh, all work that uh, Brendan did on mappings is already in MongoDB. You can you can get it uh, directly from Mongo. Uh, yeah, but okay, yes, but then now <laughs> is the is question about sections IDs, so that I want to have a section like uh, I want section something, and yeah. then I need all sentences from the section. I think you can get it from Mongo. Okay. Uh, but now I need to like to get it annotated, like so. I need a uh, thing to to like. Okay, now now now. Okay. Mm -hmm. No annotation is in, in Elastic. It's another system. Let me by annotation I mean uh, the, the everything we what we got from uh, from, from space from pipeline. Yeah, yeah from yes. space. Yeah. So it's uh, something they are keeping in Elastic, and uh, MongoDB is just raw source. Okay. And the idea uh, by actually I decided to split it in two different parts because I think we, we can get more uh, models in the future. So yeah. now guys busy with uh, the kind of service and uh, they're creating new labels. And I believe we can use this information that uh, they're currently uh, like new data they're producing. So we can train new models to recognize this stuff automatically in uh, all um, uh, full texts of okay. medical papers. Okay. So it should be reusable and we can get much more, much more data afterwards. 
Okay. Uh, wait. Okay. That, yeah. I, I, I need to think about. I mean, like to the process. Uh, because now when we don't need to those data frames, actually, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we just need a one notebook to like to uh, to add all lemmas and and um, like entity recognition from yeah. space, yeah. etc. And then you, we need to feed it back to MongoDB. Yeah, that's that's correct. I mean, like so that you can get this the same sentence but with lemma, or the same sentence but uh, annotated on the level of entity recognition. Mm, that's, not really uh, MongoDB. You, you should uh, put it in, in JSON file, and JSON should go to Dataverse to make processes reusable. Okay. And from Dataverse, it will go to Mongo and Elasticsearch. Okay, that's okay. Good. So, I mean, like, basically, so basically the way how it will be split, uh, you will do one part of work and you'll produce with JSON files okay. and other people can, can actually jump from this place, jump in yeah. and they can continue to do some stuff. Yeah, on, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, so the, the, the idea is that the output of the notebook should be just JSON file. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And then JSON file we put for Dataverse and for Dataverse, yeah. okay. Yeah, so that, it will be shared with all people from yeah, kind of yeah, exactly. and yeah. outside, yeah. yeah. Because when we don't have data frame, my question was originally, okay, what the kind of output is expected? I mean, like it's not data frame, it's mm -hmm. just uh, some annotation, let's say preprocessing with Spacey. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever data, it's like for each sentence. And now the question, how can I, what, what I am supposed to do with, with it? I mean, like... Uh, yeah, 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 it's understandable. But because both um, Mongo and Elastic, uh, they are operating with JSON files. Yeah. So okay. I'm expecting people will start to download automatically uh, things and all data sets from uh, Dataverse and will put it in their own uh, Mongo and Elastic services. Okay. Like local services. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we want to discuss the question as like what we use as a unique ID for our articles? Because Cordio ID is not exactly unique. Uh, what, yeah. Yeah, it's a good question. Actually, yes, that, that, that ID. Yeah. Guys, for me, because I'm coming from fair world, I only have a DOI as unique ID. I'm really sorry about that. But uh, this oh. is the only way. So like persistent identifier, it should, it should be only one for every article. And of course you can get court ID, court UID, court UUID uh, and whatever, but uh, still uh, in scientific world, you, you should get persistent ident identifier. The, the follow-up question then, what if at some point we will add a data set with, like, with articles that don't have DOIs? Well, it's a, it's a good point because DOI was introduced quite recently. So we'll get a lot of cases uh, like that for um, old articles, but it's not a problem because um, we have URL field in, in uh, our data set. You mean like Dataverse could kind of give you? No, it's not Dataverse. It's uh, directly in metadata uh, description. I mean, like, just like when we're building like these pipelines, let's say again, notebook to mm -hmm. enrich mm -hmm. spicy vectors for, for something. Yeah. And for example, like right now, if the output is to create JSON file there, mm -hmm. yeah. and after some point, all of this JSON, I mean, the JSON files will be in MongoDB, but at some point, the researcher he or she will kind of pull the data from the MongoDB and then one collection will be documents themselves, another collection will be spicy vectors. Mm -hmm. Now they need to aggregate it and they need a key field, right? So if we Yeah, but it's not, not a problem where we have uh, for all our um, uh, data sets, we have both uh, court uh, ID and uh, DOI. Yeah, but I mean like what if it will be like some data set that we uploaded from, I don't know, some external. China repo. Yeah, external, you mean. Ah, external. Uh, well, as soon as it has some uh, persistent identifier or URL, we are fine. We, we can just merge uh, data. Yeah, but I mean, like, our pipeline will kind of rely on DOI, like, as, as this key. Not necessarily. No, we need to. Not necessarily. In MongoDB, it's just an extra key to query. No, I, mean, I understand all of this, but 
Yeah. I'm talking about researcher who is just simply, okay, here is the guideline how to upload, like to get data yeah. from our data infrastructure. They do all of this, right? Yeah. And then in that guide, I'm like, oh, here is the key we use. The unique identifier is not Cordy ID because it's not unique, it's DOI. Yeah. And then, you know, we could just kind of like how to deal with that when we're missing DOI for some documents. Like, I mean, I saw that in Dataverse, it kind of provides you with some ephemeral DOI, which is again, not. Uh, it's, it's a temporary at the moment because uh, we need to be established organization to get real DOI. No, I understand, but like, can it be used as this unique one within Corona Y and then mm -hmm. at some point, as, uh, or is it not a good idea? As uh, temporary uh, inside of Corona Y is fine, but not for outside world. No, for outside okay. world, we should uh, use URL. In, in a sense, DOI is fine. Like, if something we could provide temporary one, and then the pipelines don't break, yeah. right? And then if if it's something serious, eventually you will need to get the data set kind of recognized. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So for, for now, after we'll produce something really um, valuable, we'll put on Harvard Dataverse. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, for internal purposes, we'll just use, uh, well, in the way like it's organized now. I think we have a good solution for, for all of that. Uh, okay, so uh, maybe some other questions. I mean, like, uh, if there are questions about this still, I think, or other questions about anything related to search engine that is not still a search engine. <laughs> And uh, Lucas, I have a question for you. Uh, yeah. You said uh, you will work on parallel. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, hosting. yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm doing this in, now, like in, also in parallel, in the sense that I'm sim, I, it's almost done simplifying things, like to, uh, from Brandon Noll books uh, to first to get rid from data frame and then to make it more reasonable uh, for process to process one file at time to read it and to do something and then to write it back and just to have in memory in ram memory just one file at moment and now i, I just uh, i today i started also like to work with this v19 uh, thing and i it's still that because there's changes in meta uh, metadata i need now to accustom actually the whole section i mean the whole section of, of functions and the third and fourth thing was like actually what, what the kind of input output you expect to uh, to the data verse. Okay, it's, now I know it's it's a JSON file, and uh, exactly yes. And the, that's I mean like multiprocessing, making uh, simplification and uh, and and output to the, that is con compatible with data verse. That's. I, it's answer to your question. I mean, yeah, and yeah, that's, yeah, and, yeah. and, and uh, in terms of, uh, I think it will be relatively fast because actually the the fact that it was so slow with with Brandon Norbu is worse because of the memory consumption and the fact that actually, yeah, you you cannot start so many things at once and yeah, I, I mean, it was like, yeah, I mean, we talked already about it. Still, some questions to from anyone to anyone. Okay, so uh, my proposal would be so we can free us from ourselves, and uh, so we uh, like uh, we will see each other on on Tuesday. I think it's two days. It's enough to like to consume and uh, to digest those things, and yeah, and. Uh, we have always live to communicate and uh, okay my, maybe it's, it's a private not private question but uh, to, to Slava about my uh, access to, to VM because it's still not functioning and I, I don't know actually why because the only one thing I changed on VM was the name of the let's say my, uh, my this is my... exactly the problem yeah uh, okay that's because, because the way how it works, you should generate a public SSH key for your user yeah. and 
after you changed it, of course, it doesn't work anymore. So you have to do it again. Okay. And um, okay. Good. <laughs> just send no, 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 you no, no, because I changed just the name of the folder, and I didn't know that it, it like it would change <laughs> also the name of the uh, pub. Uh, like yeah. change something about the public key. Uh, okay. Good. Uh, I said pause this, but I wasn't sure because it was too stupid for me. Just the fact that I changed the name of the folder does something about uh, public key. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, good. Uh, so uh, uh, have a nice evening, morning, day, night, and uh, we'll see uh, in two days. See ya. Thanks a lot.